<laughs> Alright, I've been getting this suggestion a lot, so I feel like I should answer it in video. Jamie, why don't you put a flywheel on your pedal boat? Then you only have to pedal like half the time, and the rest of the time the flywheel will just keep you going. <clears throat> I think I can break this down to three main points why, why this is not a great idea. So a flywheel would be useful if you were in a car going up and down hills. So when you're going down a hill, you have an excess of energy. And you're going too fast. You have to hit the brakes so you don't crash by going too fast. Or you can engage this flywheel. And when you're going down and have all this excess energy, you can put it into the flywheel so that when you go back up, the flywheel will power you back up the next hill. <clears throat> in a boat, always flat. You're always driving on flat. That's point number one. Point number two, putting a big heavy flywheel on a boat means you're going to be sinking the boat deeper into the water, which means more boat is in contact with the water, which means you have to push more water out of the way. It's, it's increasing the resistance of the boat moving. So you're just slowing down the entire thing by adding weight. Plus you're using a valuable cargo weight. That's point number two. Point number three, this has to do uh, kind of with human biology. And a lot of energy systems work like this, actually. So the idea of the flywheel would be that you only have to pedal half the time. We're, I mean, it, you could pick different numbers, but we're just going to say half the time. If you pedal half the time, that means you have to pedal twice as hard to get the same overall speed. But you pedal twice as hard, argh, just pedal like mad, <clears throat> and then you get to rest. So you do that for 30 seconds, then you can rest for 30 seconds, or minutes, or minutes, whatever. Because you know, a, lot of, a lot of people think you don't actually have to pedal harder, but you have to get that, you have to put the energy into the, the flywheel to be able to get it back out. You can't get more energy back out than you put in. So, so to be able to pedal half the time, you have to be putting half of your energy into the, into the propeller to move. And then you have to be putting half your energy into this paddle wheel, right? And then you get to rest for half the time while the paddle wheel spins down, uses up its energy, keeping you going. So that means you, you output twice as much power for half the time. This is the basic equation. Now, to test if this works, go to a gym and get on the bench press. I put, you'll have to change these numbers depending on how strong you are. But put 100 pounds on the bench press thing. And then bench press it as many times as you can. That's not that much weight for me. I could do it a lot. I could probably do it like 100 times or something. I don't know. <clears throat> and kind of keep track of the rate you're doing it. Now go take a rest, get a drink, whatever. Come back. Now put 200 pounds, which, will, which is double. double now, you're, now you're doing double the, double the force. You're going to need double the force to, to bench press this. Now get in there and bench press it at the same rate. You can't slow down. You gotta do it at the same rate because you actually have to double your power output. So at the same rate you did the 100 pounds, start doing the 200 pounds. <sighs> See how many you can do it. If you can do it half as many times as you can do the 100 pounds, fine, totally works. But I'm pretty sure you're not gonna come anywhere close. The same reason you don't see runners in long road races sprinting twice as fast as everyone else and then stopping and resting and letting them all catch up. And then when they get all their energy back, sprint again and stop. No, you also don't see tour de France cyclists pedaling like mad for 30 seconds and then just coasting for 30 seconds. No, it's, it's much more efficient to maintain a steady pace. So the flywheel is just a terrible idea on a, on a pedal boat. As far as I can tell, anyway, has anyone tried it? I'm sure someone's tried it. But yeah, my brain's telling me it's no good. What do you think?